say, look, labels blowing up my line and got me missing calls. Told her you ain't gotta hit me till you licking. Feel like Xavier, baby, I be cooler than the mink weather. Make a Coke bottle, give me brain till I think better. Back up on my again, hanging out with Benjamin. Franklin got me stankin' in the lank and talking dividends. Look at what we did again, brought the water dipping in. Down in Texas on them elbows, where your digits been? All these I can smell it through the audio. Lapping everybody got me working on my cardio. Party over daddy home, creeping out the caddy comb. Straight from underground, I got these Maddie on. I've been kick pushing on my grind since the pro skate. I don't do a figure that I'm pro hate. Chilling in the cut like a scab, ready to peel. You ain't gotta like it. I promise you gotta deal with us. Used to be friendly. I'm Squid. off that and I'm on business. All I've been seeing is flaw, jewelry, and fake. What is up, so everybody? Tell them I'm the coldest. It ain't superstition. Every time Please tell me y'all can hear me. I'm on an old overlay. Oh, yeah. You can hear me. You can hear me. How is everybody doing today on this Friday? It's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Look, What's up, Squint? Good to I'm see you, buddy. I uh, I saw the Michael Foss name. I was like, damn it, that name looks awfully familiar. I was like, that's that's Squint. <laughs> shout out to Squint. I miss you so much, man. Big shout out to all the sponsors up in the chat. Basket B Dezo Nation up in the chat. Larry Just Us, who's also uh, an amazing uh, YouTuber and um, part of the Discord team. And I'll tell you, I love your thumbnails, Larry. I really do. I really love your thumbnails. Like, you just there, you take just real, it's just really cool, really cool what you do. Ember Rose is up in the house. Uh, we also have Eric B. Zeno Supreme Canadian is here. Uh, and I think that's it for the sponsors. We also got him up in the house as my favorite GTA streamer. Just another gamer gaming is up in the house. B9 Bot. Arnold is here. Faisal F15 is up in the house. Um, gaming with Jamal Rodney. TRB is also here. I see Gamer Tron. What's up, GT? Jax5M is in the house. Uh, did I miss anybody? Christian is here. Hello from Denmark. Noise. Appreciate you, Just Another Gamer Gaming. Uh, and I think, I think, oh, there's Spider. Hey, buddy. Let me try out something. What's going on, man? This is Love Gamer X. What's popping? How you doing? That's an amazing picture of criminal justice behind. Crap! <laughs> yeah. Good old, uh, good old CJ right there, huh? Why does my face, this, this, this lighting is, is that one better? That's a little no. That's not so much better. Jeez, sliding just makes me look red as shit. We'll just we'll 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 roll with it. Okay. Chris Till Bell is also up in the house. So back by popular demand, people have just my DMs, and I have a channel in my Discord that says, uh, you know, it's got a like a, a video. Uh, a, a, a video request channel and people are just saying that they they love the lspdfr support live streams now let me tell you i'm not a complete guru to lspdfr support there's people in the discord support team that know far more than i do and some of them may be in the chat um there may be things you ask me that i do not know the answer of i i but the basics i usually have down script v is not uh updated yet i just checked it before i went live um, but as soon as it updates i will have a video out on how to update your game and get you rolling again uh, but if you can't play your game right now just just revert unless you've already installed the new lspdfr so let me kick off by saying what's up laughable joker uh our pit parik you're not able to download 3095 do i need to take paid membership for the same as you shown in the video i don't understand what you mean our pit um 
Dazzo, how you feeling, buddy? Uh, what's up, Speedy? Um, so what you what you don't want to do, and a lot of thing that people do is, um, the wife's here. Be back. <laughs> All right, Shane. I trump over your wife. I thought we made that clear, but that's okay. It's she does things that I can't. Believe me, okay. So go do what you got to do, buddy. <laughs> Love you, bye. Um, so one thing that people do is is when GTA updates and then LSPDFR and Rage updates, the first thing people do is they run to LSPDFR or LCPDFR.com and they they download it and install it into their game and then they think they're updated, but they're not because script hook V isn't updated. So essentially what you did was you just now broke your reverted game by throwing in the, the updated uh, LSPDFR and Rage. Um, do not install them until everything is updated. Everything meaning uh, Rage, LSPDFR, and Script Hook V, okay? Uh, Speedy, I've been good. How you doing, man? I have not reverted, but I will just wait for Script Hook V. A lot of people do that, too. Um, you accidentally deleted your mods folder, so I have to wait for Script Hook V to update to get... Oh, no. Uh, can you use Stop the Ped without Script Hook V? Uh, yes. Right? Yes, you can. No, you can't, because I think you need... Uh, that's a good question. I want to say... No, you don't, but you won't be able to play... Yes, you do, because you need it for LSPDFR, and you need LSPDFR for Stop the Ped. Right? Yeah, skilled set. It. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So, yes. It, you pretty much, if you play LSPDFR, you just, you need Script Hook V. Yeah, pretty much him. Yes. You never want to play until all three are updated unless you're on the, Yes. And that's another thing, folks. Pretty much what Squint said, you don't need to update your game. Like, if you're playing on 3095 right now and everything updates, but your game is still loading up just fine, you don't have to update it until mods start coming out that are, you know, 3175. So, you know, if you're playing on 3095 and you're playing for the next five, six months on it, but then Grammar Police updates for 317, or something updates for 317, then, yeah, you might have to update your game. But, you know, if you revert it to 3095, play. Play in, as long as your heart contends. It's, you do not have to update your game when, when Script Hook V and Rage and everything updates. You just, you just don't. How you doing, Skilled? Let me drop that Skilled song. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, that is true. Yes, Alexander Blade, he's, he's, you know, he's, he lives in a, in a place where they have a lot going on right now. So, um, yeah, Script Hook V is a vital part of all of it. What's up, Uncle Scott? What's going on, big guy? Uncle Scott, there's Dazzo right there. Dazzo is the one that, uh, gifted you a membership. He got you back on the membership boat. Um... So I do have a video. I'm waiting for Pacific Pig to I'm waiting for Pacific Pig to give me the okay. Um I just did a video. It is a lengthy video. Uh it's about 40 something minutes long, which is uh what my old tutorials. You know, I have a video that's like 40 minutes long that tells you how to install Stop the Ped. <laughs> I used to take forever in my tutorials. Well, now this tutorial, they are Patreon mods. Uh Pacific Pig is releasing um, an, an ultimate prop replacement pack, volume two, and the special services pack, which is vehicle packs. They're Patreon, but when I tell y'all that they are, everybody knows Pig does amazing work. You see it in SLRP. Uh, in his prop replacement, he's got a ticket book, y'all, that replaces the clipboard. For like the clipboard mod, it replaces that clipboard, and it's a fucking ticket book, and it looks amazing. The video's ready. All I have to do is just click make public on youtube and it'll be available uh but i wanted to let pig know it was ready so he could open up that mod in his patreon um so be on the lookout for that uh so how do you stop the auto update on steam 
I didn't manually update it. It just did it on its own. So, Kyle, do you have multiple versions of GTA or do you like multiple copies of it or just one? And again, folks, if I'm talking to somebody about their support need and I don't see your question right away, I do have a pad and pen in front of me. I try to write people's, uh, you know, issues down if I'm explaining one other issue so I can go back to it. But if I miss it, you know, don't spam the chat. But when you feel like it's been enough time in between comments, go ahead and re-ask the same question until I can until I can see it. So, Kyle's, you there is somewhere in Steam. I know Steam. Let me look it up before I switch my screen. I know there is somewhere in the settings, and it's changed uh, right here. So if I switch, let me switch. So right here, if you go to Steam and you go to settings uh, and you go right here to downloads, you can schedule auto updates. And it'll update, auto update games between 5 a.m. and 12 p.m. You could just turn that off. Um, and I think that is all you have to do. I think that is all you have to do. I haven't turned mine off, but it should be like right in here. Or you can go into Steam and you can go offline the day before the update, right? But if you're Rockstar, are you Rocks? No, you're Steam. Duh. Rockstar. Ro I'm gonna say that right now too. Rockstar people, you are SOL, which means out of luck. Um, the thing with Rockstar is you can't revert your game because every time you launch GTA, hey, what's up, Sal? Let me see you slide up in here. What's up, buddy? Um, when you launch, uh. LSPDFR through Rockstar games. Rockstar, it's automatically going to update the game every time. It's not like Steam where you can, uh, you know, change the name of your GTA folder and have it uh, not do it. So usually my suggestion uh, to anybody that owns GTA through Rockstar, go get the game through Steam. It's like $15, okay? It's like 15 bucks. Get the game through Steam. Is there anybody in the chat? that has uh gta through rockstar was it on kyle okay yeah gotcha bud all right that was it we live streams over we helped one person that's all we wanted to do we're done folks uh when do i think script v will be updated i can't give a definitive date but uh it's usually within a week to two weeks at the very tops but there's no way of telling. I mean, uh, you know, Alexander Blade, he's he's got a lot going on where he lives. And uh, uh, let's go. I'm back in the LSPDFR update out of us. Yes. Um, there's a beautiful Miss Gamer right there. Hello, Lou. No other love like this. No, 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 no other love like yours. No, no, no other love than love and no. She will always be the dream. Leo K, have you used resource? Yes, I have resource adjuster in my game. I believe I do. I believe I do. Yes, I do. There it is right there. I have it in my game. I got default settings and it works great. I, I haven't changed anything in it and I think it works great. I have like no texture loss in, uh, in my game. <clears throat> uh, but history shows that script hook v is usually updated within two weeks tops so yep just what squint said uh i have all those installed um y'all want to do yourself a favor hey aunt carol y'all want to do yourself a favor and get yourself uh again in here in here you want to get a a, a a game config um, you also want to get yourself a uh, heap adjuster and a pack file limit adjuster. That way it allows you to add so much more things through your mods folder through OpenIV without making your game crash or saying that you're out of game memory. So um, you definitely want to install those because it doesn't hurt. 
it, it it's not like if you don't need it and you install it it's going to hurt your game it's doesn't it's not heavy on you know your performance it's it's like insurance really it's like free insurance for your lspdfr so i tell people that all the time if you do a fresh install of lspdfr usually the first things i install obvious from the obvious from the script took v the rage and the lspdfr i then go get a game config a pack file limit adjuster and a heap adjuster and i throw those in my game i also throw in the script took v.net i that's just me again those are just insurances that if you get to that level because you're going to get to a level where you're installing cars you're installing eup you're installing all the stuff and if you don't have that heap or pack file limit adjuster your game is going to be like i, I can't we, i can't load the, i can't do it anymore so uh, i'm telling you pack file limit adjuster heap adjuster game config install those they're insurance for your game it will not hurt your game even if you don't need them what's up moody how you doing take notes for when i install it again after you there, there you go kibbs cyber is up in the house uh not gonna lie we gotta wait for people like you to go live for questions because the rage plugin hook discord and all that are toxic as f when it comes to asking questions i got no comment on the rage plugin hook discord um i i got no comment on them i i don't i don't understand how the developer of the mod can sit back and not everybody in there not everybody in the rage plugin hook discord is is bad but there are some pretty awful people on the staff there just a few and they make videos making fun of you asking those support questions no lie they they literally have a channel that they screenshot all anybody that goes in there with support if it's a dumb question oh they'll make a video on it and they will post it in there and they will make fun of you amongst themselves it's it's pretty sad but um you know but not all of them there are some good people over there how do i stop random events from spawning well it, it you gotta you, you must you gotta have a call out pack in your game that is making that happen um so if you want to dm me a screenshot of your plugins folder and your plugins lspdfr folder I can take a look at it and see if there's something in there. Hey, what's up, Gnome Gaming? You need assistance, please? What do you need assistance with, Moody? We'll do our best. What's up, Thunder Buddy? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. D Hub says, oh, I am. Okay, nice. Ernest Day is up in the house. I'm sorry if I miss anybody coming in. Uh, wow, the chat's going crazy. GG, yes, Baskin, you are right. The support team in the Discord are absolutely amazing. Gravity Exploits is up in the house. What's up, dude? You're having burgers for dinner. Yay! How does scripthookv.net need to update as well? Or is that fine? Uh, no, scripthookv.net does not have to update. The only time you need an updated scripthookv.net is if there's a mod that comes out that requires you to have that updated one, like uh, a Simple HUD or uh, Grammar Police, anything like that. If, if there's a, you know, but no, scripthookv.net uh, will be will be okay uh we, do, we don't have an eta on script took v update um i do have the site up uh right here and let me refresh it and yeah so we have it up right here so during the live stream i can just keep refreshing it to see if it was uh to see if it's updated jamie b's up in the house what's up jamie b Sounds like the equivalent of eating spicy glass. You know, Sirius313 sent me a DM, and he goes, LSPDFR live chat support. He was like, have you gone mad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, Mr. Larry? Does Lemon UI is required for LSPDFR callouts and other scripts? Uh, no, 
but it is required for scripts like uh, uh, Simple HUD. Uh, Gravity, am I right on that? Simple HUD or Simple Control? One of those requires the Lemon UI, maybe both. Again, that's another thing that you can have in your game just for insurance. You know what I mean? You could throw, you can make a scripts folder, throw a Lemon UI in there and just have it. You know what I mean? For other scripts and, and stuff like that. You want to save my cars in my story mode in garages. How do I do? I want to save my cars in my story mode in garages. How do you do? I don't understand what you mean. You want to save your, like your police cars? There you go. What Gravity Exploits says right there. I'm jealous of your home screen. Mine is messy with folders. Uh, well, you, you, you haven't seen, I, I mean, hold on. Uh, let me let me show you something here. I've got another monitor, right? And let me, I mean, it's all kind of, I'll, sh I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Display capture. I don't know. Is it this one? I don't know if it's this one. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Is it this one? No. Then it must be this one. There you go. There's my monitor with the, there's my monitor with all of my, you know. But again, they are kind of, you know, they are kind of in order, kind of kind of cleanish, so to speak. Slide that back over. No, your normal cars. Please, English is a second language. Um, the Hanako EUP vest. Lee, okay, can you DM me the DM me the the link to it and let me take a look at it. Uh Pantley says uh hello, I just wanted to tell you thanks cuz you helped me a lot and understand how OSPDFR works. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. He said sounds like candy. Hash don't go telling kids to eat spicy glass. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw my last uh, YouTube short, but uh, that's not me. That's not who I am all the time. But I raged out, okay? I raged out in Sons of the Forest. I apologize. Moody, when you reach character's garage where they will see a for sale sign up. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Natural selection. I have OCD, so all my LSPDFR mods are super organized. Some For some people, that's what they do. I know CJ does the same thing. I don't. I just have a folder that says all GTA versions. That's it. Oh, Speedy. That, 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 I don't know what it was. Uh, I don't know what it was, but it just, oh, my gosh. I got so mad. He's got backups for his backups as backups. <laughs> no, it wasn't golf. It was Sons of the Forest. What call out packs do I use? I'll show you right now. Um, I use uh uh plugin here's my call out packs i use 686 um highway call outs jm call outs amazing uh kuchera which have gotten better but there's still room for improvement with kuchera call outs not gonna lie um and super call outs and i know super events and i also have wilderness call outs so there's that right there. I have not, Gravity. I have not checked that out yet. 
I have been lacking on the LSPDFR tutorials and, and patrols, and I know I have, and I apologize. Just got a lot going uh, going on right now, so um, we'll, we'll get to them. Coso callouts has huge... Oh, dude, I, I do not... I do not use coastal callouts. You talk about if there's a if there was an award for the heaviest uh if there was an award for the heaviest call out pack for performance, it would be coastal callouts. All right, let me uh let me download this real quick. And see if I can look at the. Uh, maybe we can do a, a live install video on this earpiece. EUP. I, I'm sketchy on EUP. I don't do much. I do have one EUP tutorial uh, as far as like custom EUP. Uh, well, I have a couple of them, but I do have one where you can put your own name tag on your vest, and it's pretty cool. Um, but let's go ahead and ooh, that's a is that a big file jeez that looks like it's taken quite forever that's gonna holy cow lordy good lord jandis east bay your video is completely he's joking Ch east bay you know these some of these folks believe you when you say that i don't care if, if you're just joking i don't care if you're the class clown all right, we both are. That's I think that's what makes us click sometimes. But you can't do it here. No. No. No, no Red Bull for you this time. Okay? No, I, I draw a line. No. No. Laughing at me. What's up, East Bay? And shout hey, shout out to East Bay Gaming. Shout out to East Bay Gaming. Uh, I believe that's why you have an issue that I've updated since you Oh, okay. Okay. Fucking East Bay. Vest and earpiece is outdated. Is it? Is it? Maybe that's why it's not working. Uh, this one was last updated. Oof. Yeah, this was December of 2020. This isn't even going to work anymore. Uh, that's why it's... No, we're not going to... Okay. So we're not going to... We're not going to finish that download. We're going to cancel that download. Yeah, EUP has updated since 2020. So that earpiece and that is not going to, at least the one you sent me, is not going to work. I'm sorry, bud. 2020, dag. Take care, Baskin. John John Games official, what's up, dude? Leroy Maniac. Yeah, I don't go to any of those those call outs. Kuchera at first you were were crashing my game hardcore. So I got rid of them. And I actually talked shit about them for a, a few weeks, but they've gotten better. Fix my redeems? What do you mean? Fix my redeems. Who's redeeming something? I didn't see anybody redeem something. Is it not working? Mm. Yeah, I don't I, yeah, I don't I'm not really sure what's going on there, buddy. But yeah, I don't know why that's not working. Squint tried it. Okay, no redeems right now, y'all. It didn't show up on the screen. Did it show up? Did you hear it? Cause I didn't. I didn't even hear it. Yeah, this is an old overlay, y'all. Like it's old. Uh, let me go. Hold on a second. Let me, let me wait. Just hash. Give me a second. Hash. Hash. Wait. Huh. Uh, what is it under? Uh, is it under widgets? No, it's not under mid widgets. 
you didn't hear that, none of y'all heard that. Was it under alert box? Yes. No, don't show it. Copy it, doofus. Okay, copy that. Now, let me go here. Add a, what do I have to add? It's a, uh, isn't it a browser source? Yes. It's not a local file. And close. Okay, now that should have fixed it. Maybe. Mm. Oh, do I not? The uh, audio output. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It should be working. I don't know why it's not working. I'm sorry. No more redeems. Hey, Aloisy. Aloisy? Is it Aloisy? Hello, how are you? Got GTA 5. GTA 5 not supported 3095 on Rage. Uh, Mr. Windows, is that a question or are you answering somebody? Do you use lore friendly vanilla cars that are based on California? Uh, no. User 818. Uh, we use, you mean for my LSPDFR? Uh, for my LSPDFR. I let me fire up what I, I'll show you what I use. Um, Aloy Z, redeem be better. <laughs> that one hurt right here. Hash is the GTA 5 working again with LSPDFR? If you revert, yes. Uh, so if I go to favorites, if I go to police vehicles right here, and let's say I go to police three, um. These are, I know this looks weird, but in the game, it, it looks fine. Um, these vehicles, these liveries were made. Uh, these are, this is Trooper 18's uh, FPIU. And the texture pack is, was made from Doug 1637. Uh, and this is actually based off of my hometown. It's lore friendly, as you can see. It does say Los Santos Police. Um, but these things are dope. And they're not available for the public, but they're so dope. Uh, but these are what I see every day here where I live. Um, uh, the FPIU, uh, Doug also hooked me up with uh, the Dodge Charger livery, which we don't have any chargers where I live, and the um, FPIS. Again, this livery is based off of my hometown, and Fester hooked me up with the lighting um in new york state all of our police vehicles have red lights on the front with red and blues on the back so yeah um and then for my sheriff two and sheriff one um i just have a like a knockoff pack of the fresno what we use in uh slrp but uh you know the ones in slrp are way nicer but these are good these aren't bad these aren't bad. And then the Pranger, this is made by Big G. Nope, this one's not made by Big G. This is uh, New Jersey Federal Laws. Uh, that's his right there. Um, and then Police 4. What do we have in Police 4? Oh, they're that trooper vehicle, the Hellcat. So, yes. Um, how do you revert? There you go. Squint, drop the video right there. Hey, what's up, Angel? Hold on, I got, I got, hold on, Angel. In the arms of the angel. Get it? In the arms of the angel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you get it. LSPDFR and Los Santo Elfus Red, best combination. I was watching you play that the other day. Uh, that right there, I think that's the link that Squint, uh, he said, no, you look fine, mi hermano. Uh, that link that Squint dropped, that is the revert video uh bands 
definitely go check that out. That'll get you back on patrol in no time. Um, <clears throat> Silent Scope. You have 3095 GTA, but your LSPDFR version is 3179. Are you one of those folks that installed LSPDFR without waiting for Scriptook V2 install or update? Again, a lot of things that people do is when Rage and LSPDFR update, the first thing they do is they throw it in their game without waiting for Script Hook V. Never update your GTA. If you revert, never update your GTA folder unless all three are updated. Okay? So um, unless you have an older version of LSPDFR, the 3095 version, no, you're just going to have to wait for uh, Script Hook V to update. I'm sorry, bud. For future reference, though, if you revert and you're on like 3095 and your game is playing fine and then LSPDFR updates, do not go throwing that in your game until you know Script Hook V is updated, okay, for future. Yes, in Rockstar, people, you just have to wait. Yep. You're on LOA until May 3rd? Oh, and then when you come back, I'm going to be on I'm going to be on LOA for a week or so. Damn, man. Do you know when Script V? We do not know when Script V is is going to update. I if I was the guess, I would say I think it'll be updated by Monday, but I think it might even be done by today. But I can't definitively say when Script V is going to be updated. So, just got to wait. Your mod said Monday or today. Yeah, if the mods are they're they're going off of average, you know, the the average time that Script V takes to update. They're going off of that. So it's usually within a week or two, week and a half. Um, so I think, and yes, Spectre, I will. Of course I will. As soon as Script Hook V updates, I'm usually pretty good with getting a video out within the next hour or so of it updating. Um, I've got a, a, a few people who are ready to DM me as soon as Script Hook V updates. I got, there's some folks that are watching uh the 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 script hook v page to wait for it to update and once it does i'll 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 get that video out as soon as i can um i would do it now if it updates while we're doing this live stream i will do a live update video <laughs> let me grab you my v4 fresno project i'm in progress with the all right cj already took it last fall send it my way man send it my way no, Kuba, 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 you're the best. You're the best. Can you do a thumbnail tutorial for LSPDFR? Uh, what do you mean? I, I do have a thumbnail video out. I do have a, mm, yes, I have a thumbnail video. Yep, I will, hold on one second. I will drop you that link right now. I mean, it's not like, you know, make thumbnails on GT. Uh, it's a quick guide. It's a five and a half minute video, uh, but it's 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 it, it'll show you, uh, it'll show you the basics. Let me see something here. Um, you know, it'll it'll show you the basics of. Um, Hold on. Oh, this shows you how to. Mm. Yeah, this just shows you how to get a good picture from how to use Rockstar Editor to get a picture. Uh, so I use paint.net for my thumbnails. So, all right, let me, I'll, I'll show you real, real quick. Take care, Gravity. Zeno can have the lieutenant or captain send someone in if you will be on. I think you're the best LSPDFR creator of all time. T Dude, Aloisi, thank you so much. It's so very kind of you. That is very kind of you. Um, so let me go here, and let me go to view, and let me go to screenshots. And let's say we want to make a thumbnail. Uh, wait for it to load up. Why are you not loading up? What's this one here? Okay, so this is... This is when I did the 
uh, the, fi- the, 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 the props one, right? So what I do is I'll take a picture through Rockstar Editor, and then I what I what I will do next is I will uh, I will open that picture using Paint.net, right? So here it is, right here, and then you know, and then it's just I mean when I tell you I'm very basic with my thumbnails, I'm super basic with my thumbnails. Uh, you know, I'll add another layer. I'll click that little plus sign, add another layer. And then, you know, that's where, you know, I, I do use Defont, and I'll show you Defont in just a moment. Defont works really good with paint.net. So let's say oil makes you run faster, this one here. We're gonna go with that one there. And we're gonna make it a little big. And we're gonna come over here and change the color to white. And we'll just type in notepad. I do not like that font, so we're gonna change that. <laughs> we're gonna change that right away. Look at this, price down. That's GTA's font right there. Let's say we wanted to use the GTA font. And we can make it a little bigger now that it's the GTA font. So, notepad, right? So now, because it's on its own layer, over here, layer two, I can go up to effects and go to object and go to outline. And this is where, you know, you'll outline it. Maybe use the GTA uh, color green, right? And just make it a little darker, uh, a little brighter right there. And you can make that, you know, as thick as you want, as thin as you want. And let's say we'll do something like that right there. And then you click OK. And then what's cool is you can go to object and go to drop shadow, which will add like a, a any color shadow behind it that you want. And again, you can make it as big as you want. And then you can like kind of fade it. So it looks like a, you know, it just adds depth to the back of your your lettering so that it's kind of easier to read because without it, it, it might get washed away. Um, another one that I like to use is the drop shadow here where it'll kind of add a drop shadow of your lettering. Um, and then, you know, you can move your distance up a little bit. You can make it so that the, the radiance of it, the radius of it's like, you know, you can go sharp with it or a little more smooth, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, that usually makes your your letters pop and that'll work with anything. So like, let's say if I go and I drop in the LSPDFR uh, logo, right? I drop in the LSPDFR logo and uh, just make it huge just for the sake of it. Hmm. And once you drop it in, it'll automatically create its own layer. Now, if I go to effects, it's just a cool way to really make, to really make it pop. You know what I mean? It just adds shadowing to it. We'll bring that one in a little more. But it just brings shadowing to it and just makes it look a little a little better. Now, if I have something where, you know, there's, uh, like, if I had, uh, if I was doing a thumbnail and it was like a, use your words, Jeff, if it was like a fire call out or something like that, I would, like, go and I would get some smoke right? You can go on Google and type in PNG smoke and I would add my own smoke onto it. You know, wherever you thought, you know, if you had a fire down here, you know, you can have the smoke all the way up here. Uh, it's just paint.net. It's free. It's awesome. It's dope. I highly suggest you get it. Um, I don't have any fire PNG that I could show you, but, um, yeah, I thought I had some, but I do not have any. Uh, and I'm going to get to the chat in just a moment here. You just, you asked about the thumbnails and that, that really, I, I enjoy doing the thumbnails, but when I tell you they're pretty, pretty basic, but they're, you know, they work. They're, they're you know, it's, they, because you, you really want to catch the eye, you know. Your thumbnail is like the movie cover. Uh, we're not going to save that. So, yes, there's that. Let me check script to be, and no, it's not updated. Like how you make the thumbnail and what we need. Yep, definitely go to, hey, what's up, Zachary? Uh, definitely get to yourself paint.net. And, oh, like I was saying, um, like I was saying, let me bring this up real quick. Defont. It's simply defont.com. This site is amazing. Hey, Spectre, you got it, man. Uh, do I use Stream Deck for LSPDFR commands instead of the keyboard? Yes. 
would love a tutorial on how to use the stream deck. I got one. I got one. I got one. Um, hook you up. That's awesome. What's awesome? Hey, what's up, Axel? Yes, I do have one. I will, I will find it for you in just a second here. I, I know I have one. So I've got tutorials for everything. Um, view your channel. Stream Deck. Use your Stream Deck for your 5M. Setting up your Stream Deck for that. Playing. Using your Stream Deck with LSPDFR. There it is right there. Uh, so share. Copy. And drop it. There you go. That right there. Check out that video, B9 Bot. Uh, so defont.com. Listen, if you make... If you may, <laughs> gotcha squint. <laughs> if you make thumbnails for anything, you gotta go to defont.com. And if you use uh, paint.net, you can type in anything up here in the search, but you could type in fire and it's gonna bring up fire, fire bug. I mean, you just type in anything, anything, uh, bones. Type in bones and black. Wait, oh, I searched in the wrong. There we go. I searched in the wrong thing. He got bones. All right, Thunder Buddy. Catch you later, man. Do you have a video on how to be as awesome as? Mm. Yeah, that's 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 for members only. Which you remember. He said you're watching it now, Angel. Oh. Uh, so you threw me off. So let's say you see one that you want, right? Bone King. Um, go to download right here. And it's so simple. It'll bring this up. You just look for the TTF and double click it. And it'll give you like uh, examples of how it writes. And just click install. Boom. That's it. Any font, Dr. Bones, right? There it is. Double click it, click install. It's in. It automatically throws it right into your paint.net. Right into your paint.net. Giggity. What's up, Frank? Um, I love the font. I love it. I love it. I must have about 200 custom fonts in my... Uh, in my uh, paint.net. Ooh. Thank you, skilled. Hey, what's up, Fester? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's spelled out. I think you have to physically spell out the dot net. Yeah, so get paint.net. So if you click that, get it now, paint.net, you might, it'll go through all this. And then I think you just exit out of that, right? And then this is the paid version and this is the free one. And then you just select it and you download it. It's awesome. It's pretty awesome. I don't know how to thank you, but thank you so much, Major Caleb. Got you all day, baby. All day. And you are welcome, and thank you for thanking me. I swear most people play 5M or mod single player these days. Why do rock stars keep making this relevant? Yeah, that's, <laughs> listen, that's a question that we all ask. It's, it's, it's all about the money, man. They do these updates, and, you know, you, you think about it. You've, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of it. You know, Fortnite, when they come out with these updates, and now my, my son needs you know, a thousand V bucks, which is like ten dollars, I think. You know, my son comes to me. Oh, I need ten dollars. So you get him V bucks. Now, just picture that times a million. You know what I mean? So when when Rockstar comes out with these updates on a game that is still so fucking popular, you know, hey, here's these new cars or this new thing here. 
but you need a shark card. You need this much money. You need this to buy this car. Well, now these kids are going to their parents saying they need shark cards and uh, please, please, please. And then boom, here you go. And it's millions and millions of dollars. Well, we did, Axel. We did. <laughs> Striker Mods, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Let me uh, refresh Script Took V and still not updated. We're checking Script Took V throughout the stream to see if uh, they get uh, see if they get updated there. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video if you feel I'm deserving of it. If you don't think I deserve it, then don't uh, don't worry worry about it. Word already. Okay. Rockstar still has GTA 4 servers online. Uh, I don't know. Gross. <laughs> GTA 4 L. Ew, brother. Ew. Fester, how you doing, man? I'm waiting for Pig to respond to me so I could drop this this video. It's a lot. Like I said, it's a long one. It's a it's a long video. Wait a second, let me see. Oh, I wonder, wonder who, but do I? Who? It's a forty minute tutorial showcase. You know, that's good, man. Axel, you want a bite? You good? Okay. I'm just asking, bro. No, Major. I'm going to be honest. When LCPDFR was a thing, I didn't even have a PC. I got a... Mm, I got a PC after watching... Uh, Jeff Fabiano, Bay Area Bugs, and Polecat play 5M with an LSPDFR with uh, GTA 5. So I never, not a once, did I ever play uh, LCPDFR. Think it'll update tonight if it updates tonight we'll have a video out tonight i'm hoping it updates while we're live i think that would be pretty cool doing i will probably still do a regular video on it for those that aren't in i would definitely do a video on it for those that aren't in the live stream so what screen what screen what's up jay fury How you doing, man? Yeah, Hex. I would imagine somebody else would just pick it up. That type of, you know. Ah, uh, yes. Like Squint said, uh, the difference between natural vision paid and the free one, the free one has no support for it anymore. It still works, but um, the, the paid one, you get monthly updates. Uh, for instance, last October, he had a fall uh, optional where it made all your trees look like it was fall. Gorgeous. And then, you know, as it updates throughout the months, you now have an option to have a spring uh, where your trees, you get the pink you know um i forget the name of those trees but they're they're just they're amazing they're great oh the wallpaper oh yeah thank you it's simple just my logo and what's up joven but yeah the paid version is 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 pretty great i'm fortunate to be partnered with um with raised and 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 i get the updated nve every month what's up trey trends up in the house is there any performance differences between them yes i would think that the free version is uh actually ah i want to say the nve free version is heavy on the e and b settings 
I think it still relies on E and B, and everybody knows E and B is very, very heavy. But or am I thinking of Quant V? I know one of them recommends you install E and B with it. Well, the new NVE does not require you to to use E and B with it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Did the last update in Scripted V come out like four days after? Speedy, yes. It 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 uh it differs you know i've seen days where it was updated in three days and then i've seen updates where it took a week or two to update um it's really just a uh it just depends on what the developer of the of the mod is is going through at that time no doubt specter do I get commission? For, I do not. I just get it for free. Yeah, I just, I, I'm not like a paid partner. I just, uh, I get it for free in return. I tell people that's what I use. Quant needs e and I thought so. I, I knew that there was one of them that requires. And VR requires e and Yeah, there you go. Um, do you know of any mod like a viewpoint V with the viewpoint that you can get? Actually, I just got a mod sent to me from somebody. So silent scope, keep your eyes open. I got a mod that was sent to me from somebody that wants me to, um, take a look at it. And I think it's going to be pretty dope i'm trying to find the it's actually called uh viewpoint v but it's a newer version and uh it's not out yet and uh this person is uh sending me do i play lspdfr off stream yes Got a lot of RAM. Uh, I'm cheap and get tired of paying for it monthly and not getting monthly updates. I, You're not the only person to say that. Yes, there are months where you don't get an update. And uh, some people are paying, what is it, 10 is the highest, I think? 10 is the highest. I've been watching a guy on YouTube that has his GTA 5 single player set up almost like an ESX server. Is that difficult to set up? Uh, Matt Alexander, what do you like? What do you mean? I'm on the new version of LSPDFR, but Scriptook V, Scriptook V is not updated yet. Action Gamer, for future reference, if you're playing on a reverted GTA and LSPDFR and Rage Plugin Hook update, do not install them until you know ScriptHook V is also updated. Because if you install the updated LSPDFR without ScriptHook, then you're not going to be able to play your game at all. So, um, oh, a lot of fuel and job mods. There's there's mods called real life mod mods, and uh, fuel mods. You know, Simple Control has a fuel mod, which is pretty dope. Uh, that uh, I am Jay Fury. That I'm not sure of. TRB, I'm glad I can help. Hello, Christian. Hello to Denmark. Um, so I was really hoping that this was gonna update, but it didn't update. So, uh, we might. Oh, it's a, is it a Patreon? Okay. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Uh, let me. Hold on one second, y'all.
What's the best mod for me besides Stop the Ped? Oof. That's, man, that, that, that's a tough one. What's up, Neff? That's a tough one. Um, I would have to say <laughs> I love Simple HUD and Simple Control uh, and Grammar Police. I think Grammar Police is an essential mod just like stop the ped in that um and the the latest mod i did with the uh the emotes the uh um oh shit what was the name of that mod hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on it is the uh the role play role play plus animation i think that is a pretty amazing one as well Yes, the role play. Yep, role play plus animation. The interactive notepad, also pretty fucking dope. I like that one as well. Um, the police stop sticks, you know. Um, yeah. Thank you for fixing my game. Sign up for the membership. Did you really? Thanks, Neff. I appreciate you. Neff becoming a membership yesterday. Got his game working good. Hell yeah. Uh, Kaxakar? Cox? Kaxakar? Hello, hello. Uh, so, what is the best graphic mod? For 5M, I use NVE. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love how you can control the brightness of the lights because different vehicles in the server have different brightness on the lights. Um, but for, like, my single player, I use Visual V uh, because NVE was a bit unstable for my game anyways. Um, because I have uh, L.A. Roads and Real California Architect installed. I love it, and I will never get rid of it. And it doesn't clash well with NVE. So I do not have NVE in my single player, just in my 5M. For single player, um, I have uh, Visual V with Reshade. Got you on my Discord. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, Neff. Appreciate that. Ah, but you could still get it, Squint. Man, you can still get it, sir. You can still get it. What's up, Trooper Vito? Let me see. Hold on, Squint. I'm looking for it. I mean, you got to get it from a third-party site if you're okay with that. But uh, I think this is the one. I don't know if this is the yeah i think this is where i got it from you you do have a like a firewall or whatnot right all right i sent it buddy try that 25 dollar charge for this <laughs> Uh, does anybody know if there's a Chicago map for GTA 5? I do not know. Whenever I try to run Rage plugin hooks, nothing comes up. But when I try to run it again, it says it's already open. Do you know how to fix that? Um, oh, that's weird. Uh, th I'm I'm assuming you might have turned your, your virus protection off. I'm his unofficial manager trying to make my boys some money. Oh, man. What was my first mod and plugin? It was, uh, well, aside from LSPDFR, uh, it was ELS. ELS, and then, of course, all of Bajojo's mods. Stop the Ped, Ultimate Backup, uh, CompuLite, Speed Radar Light, uh, and ALPR. 
it's Axel. He's a funny dude, man. You know that? Uh, my cousin wants to play my LSP to far. Should I allow him to play it, but with me beside him? That's that's up to you, Spectre. Yeah, ELS, yes, ELS still works great. I love it. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, was scripted to be updated? No. It is. I love, love, love ELS. Love ELS. 47 likes on the stream. We're probably going to be wrapping it up here, folks. I didn't have much time today. I just uh, just wanted to get on here and just do a quick hour or so of uh, uh, some uh, LSPDFR support and just to chat. Um, this is by request. People love these LSPDFR support live streams. Like, folks love them, and they want them, like, all the time. Five real in LA. Oh, AC dynamic. I didn't even, I didn't even look at that. What age did I get GTA? No comment. I was... I was like 39. Okay. Don't don't judge me. Yes, I started late and I wish I hadn't. You, my dude, I listen to nobody else. Oh, what did Neff say? I'm sorry, I didn't read that. Uh I listen to nobody but you when it comes to LSPDFR. <sighs> Playing your game now, thank you, man. I got you all day, baby. All day. There is no stop it, Zeno. There's no stink bug. Oh, you did three flights? Hell yeah, dude. No, there's not. But of course. I dislike you guys sometimes. Oh, man. Uh, we all have that ember it's it's like a it's a yeah it's a it's an abusive relationship it's an abusive relationship that's how we know we're loved <laughs> oh do i play any other games uh yes yeah we played sons of the forest last night uh, uh we do some ats some forza some golf um, Resident Evil, yeah, there's a there's a bunch of games. Go check it out. What game should you get that's under thirty dollars? Mm, good question. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's I don't know. There's there's a lot out there. What's up, Fireman Dan? What are some GTA 5 mod ideas you have that could help you out or would just be interested in? Um, mm. You want to know what's funny is I'll play LSPDFR and think, ah, it was one that I told Astro about. I think it would be actually great to be able to have fires stay lit longer. So if I have a fire, whether I roll up and there's a car on fire or there was an explosion and you call in, you radio in for FD and they're on their way there. And by the time they get there, the fires are out. I, I think if there was a mod that made those fires stay for three to four minutes that way you know you could actually get footage of the firemen putting out the fire i think that would be i think that would be pretty cool did i call you no no not yet oh man i miss you squint i really do man Star Citizen, have you played that at all recently? I have not played it. I need to go back and watch your stream, Axel. Jenny and I were watching TV last week. We were watching our show last night, and I seen that you were live on that. And I need to go back and watch that. You need some golf? Let's play next week. I know you, are you home during the day at all during the week? Is there a modder script to disable the phone in GTA? 
Uh, yeah, LSPDFR. I don't know if there's one for like single player, but I know my phone never comes up in LSPDFR. But I'm still squint. I'm still hooked on that uh, city's skylines. I love that fucking game. I could play that game for hours, dude. Hours. Fire pretty much does that. Fires look insane in the last ages. Oh, do they really, Hex? Hmm. Yeah, but that's if you have fire callouts. I'm talking about just in general, because there's other callout packs where it might be a vehicle explosion or something. And those fires just they just go out, you know. Or if you have a car accident and there's a car on fire from another call out, it just goes out so quick. So I just mean in general. <laughs> but I don't know how hard that would be to to make it. The ultimate facts speaker. Hi, Jeffrey. My game crashes when I play the game for about three minutes. And when I install the custom siren, and I can't hear the siren horn literally anything for cars. Huh. Do you have... I don't know if the heap adjuster... I don't know if the heap adjuster or pack bottle limit adjuster would help you in that situation. But your game crashing after three minutes, it could be a whole array of things, honestly. It just could be a whole array of things. Um, go on my channel and search sirens and follow that tutorial on installing sirens and see if that helps you with your sirens thing. Um, but as far as your game crashing, here's what I want you to do. What's up, Mexican? What's going on, buddy? Um, here's what I want you to do with that. Let's go back over to the top, right? And let me, let me bring up the, so next time your game crashes, right? Next time your game crashes, ultimate facts, you're going to go to your main directory. All right. And how to get there in case you don't know how. You're going to go to your disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program Files x86. Steam. Steam Apps. Common. Okay. Uh, then you're going to open up your GTA folder. And you're going to go down here to Rage Plugin Hook Log. So if you crash again, if your game crashes, right? Here's what I want you to do. Go to the Discord if you're not already a part of my Discord. Um, and what you're going to do is I'll bring this right here. Let me bring this right here. Let me bring this right here. And in the discord, in the left side menu, you're going to verify. And then it takes up to 10 to 15 minutes to verify. You're going to scroll down till you get to the LSPDFR support channel and go to the, uh, auto log reading. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Go to the auto log reading, right? And then what you're going to do right here is, and I'm going to just drop mine in there just to show you, is you're going to take this rage plugin hook dot log. See, look at that. Somebody's using it right now as we speak. Somebody just used it. Uh, whoever this is right here just used it. Is that you by any chance? Um, and you could see their GTA version is not updated. The plugin hook is not updated. So, yeah, somebody just used it. Um, and you're just going to take this, uh, this rage plugin hook dot log. You're going to drag it right in there and drop it and then hit enter. And it will, it will read your crash log and it'll tell you what might be crashing your, your game. So I hope that works for you. Mexican thinks by Sunday. Do all my monitor have speakers? Because I can get, I cannot get mine on, and I got a Bluetooth speaker. I most monitors have speakers. I don't know. That's a mine do, but they're. I just always use my headphones. I can't remember the last time I actually played audio. I don't even have external speakers. Um. Uh, I I know they have speakers on the monitors, but I just, it's just. It's like second nature. As soon as I sit down, I uh, this file is most likely too large. There's a small amount of space for siren space. 
Oh, there you go. Thank you, Larry. Um, all right, Axel. We'll see you, buddy. You take care, man. What's the best 5M server? <laughs> Easy. SLRP. SLRP. Silver lining role play. How can I revert? I play an epic. Go check out Criminal Justice. I don't have epic. So I'm sorry, folks. I don't have an epic game version. So I can't comfortably make a video telling you how to do it because I don't have it. Um, so I only have Steam. I've always only had Steam. Uh, but CJ, I know Criminal Justice. I know he does uh, epic users on how to revert. So definitely go check him out. Uh, it says my RPH is not to date, but I literally installed LSPDFR like three days ago. Did you do it after the update? Did you install LSPDFR after GTA updated? <laughs> what is LSPDFR? You know what it is. Yeah, that might be it, Facts. You might just have to wait. Uh, and then once I, I'm telling you, once CryptoV is updated, I will be dropping a video. I, I, I got y'all. 100%. Dude, that would be dope, Jay Fury. Seriously, that would be so dope. DM me. I will test it, showcase it, install video on it, whatever you need. GGS Luke, what's popping, man? How do I get Rockstar Launcher from updating mine? Won't let me play without the update, even after I revert. CJ Hill, do you have, is your, are you playing through Rockstar or Steam or Epic? Is your GTA purchased through Rockstar? If so, that's your problem. You cannot uh you cannot play on Rockstar. You have to wait for everything to update. My advice to you, go purchase it through Steam. I just need an announcement. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're Rockstar, then you gotta wait. Rockstar is always gonna auto update. You can't turn it off. Um What's better, NVE or NVR? Uh, NVR is the free version. NVE is Patreon. They're pretty much made by the same developer. NVR is Natural Vision Remastered, where NVE is Natural Vision Evolved. Um, my opinion, NVE, I think, because it's more modern, more up-to-date, more stable. Um, yeah, you don't play L. You did. I've seen you play it before, I believe, right? Yeah, I would go with NVE. Hey, Echo, how you doing? Just got done streaming. GGS Luke just got done streaming. What were you? What were you streaming? What were you over there streaming? Oh, some NBA Live. Some NBA Live career mode. Why didn't I get a notification? I'm sub to you with notifications on. See, I don't know why I didn't get that notification from you. Nope. Oh, you use SVE? SVE is dope too. <laughs> yes, NVR is better for performance. It is not as heavy as NVE. Yeah, they same with me. They they're not sending mine out to people either. Um all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh that is going to do it. I appreciate y'all coming through and hanging out and and showing some love. We uh, 52 likes on the stream. Thank y'all so much. Um, you are absolutely amazing. I hope I helped. If I even just helped one person out, it, this live stream was a success. So uh, I hope I, I helped y'all out. Um, all right, GGS. Join the Discord. Nice. Okay. So should I use the NVE single player or NVR for performance? My PC is decent. Uh, it depends on how decent is decent. Um, NVE is also $10 a month. NVR is free. So, Neff Hines, thank you. Okay, then I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, 
Uh, Devin, I'm dead. I'm not sure on. I'm not sure. Not sure if we're going to be on SLRP tonight. Um, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Like I said, we do have a new tutorial dropping any moment. As soon as Pacific Pig gives me the okay to drop it, I'm going to make it public. And I always help you, brother. In the arms of the um, okay. Uh, so, yeah, we're just waiting for that video. Uh, we're just waiting for Pig to say it's okay to drop that video. Uh, Vidik or TubeBuddy? I do not. I do not. I've heard TubeBuddy is pretty cool, but I do not use it. Thank you, Mini Cola. I will check that out, though, What WTF. Um, all right, everybody. I love you all so much. We may see you all later. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Be on the lookout for Scriptic Vita update, and we will drop it as soon as it updates. We will drop a video on it. Squint, you take care, too, buddy. It was good seeing you, man. Um, and we have a tutorial dropping for Pig's Patreon mods, which are absolutely amazing y'all are not gonna want to miss it it's a lengthy video i'm not gonna lie it's like 40 minutes long but it had to be that long to go over everything that he um uh has in these so um calum exclamation point discord will get you the link to the discord thank you all so much for coming through and showing the love i love you all so much until next time everybody uh, god bless take care stay in prayer love one another and peace out everybody Bye. Have a beautiful time.